Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm joining the Urban Sketching Group in London for a 3 hour sketching session. So I wanted to show you a bit what the experience looks like. I hope you enjoy and let's go! So these are all the supplies that I'm bringing with me today. I've never used pastels before and I just bought some recently, so today is going to be a first. Also, this A6 postcard that I just found, so cute. Water brushes so that I don't need to bring water container. A fine tip brush for detailing. A pencil. I cannot bring my whole arsenal of gouache, so I'm bringing a limited palette. I plan to contrast orange coral shade with some blue and turquoise. Then I'll use mint and cream for accent colors and indigo for shadows. My Moleskin sketchbook to sketch the ideas. Everything is in a ziplock and we're ready to go. In record time, I'm just a pretty girl with an ugly smirk. You convince yourself that it's one of my quirks again. Too high, I'm keeping shoes. Somehow I'm perfect music. Just convince that I'm the one. Or at least until the night is done. Take me home. Show me your vinyl. I've chosen my spot, so now I'm going to sketch down the composition of what I want to paint. The scene is around here. Let's go. I arrived at the meeting point a bit late, everyone was already sketching, so I discreetly picked my spot. I started by drawing small thumbnails to warm up and try out different compositions. Honestly, I was really nervous because I was going to draw with pastels for the first time, and also many of the participants were architects, so they sketched really well, and I was afraid of making a fool of myself. After this, I made a bigger sketch where I tried posing some color blocks to see how it would turn out and how I would attribute them across the landscape. I ended up choosing blue shades for the plants and pink shades for the buildings. I'm actually over preparing for such a small sketch because I really didn't want to mess up, but this was the time to lower my expectations and focus on the creative flow instead of the ideal result. I tend to start working from the background instead of the focal point, so I first painted the buildings with different shades of pink. Then for the bush and the tree on the foreground, I'm using different shades of blue to contrast with the background. I'm going to make some mistakes soon, but for now things look quite nice. I went in with cyan blue to paint bright windows on the buildings and then added some more brown for more contrast. But considering that I'm using grainy watercolor paper, it was tricky to paint. Not to self, use the right type of paper. Then, with a lot of difficulties, I played around with colors. To elaborate a bit on what I'm doing here, as the plants are painted with cool tones, I'll use the warm tone to create light and shadow, then vice versa for the buildings, which means that they are painted in warm pink tones, so I'll use the cool tone to create light and shadow. This helped bring more depth to the sketch in principle. The result is a bit amateur, but I was really relieved. I feel like if I stopped earlier, it would have been a lot better, but at least now I know that using pastels on grainy paper is really tricky. While waiting for this first session to finish, I wanted to get over this I need to over prepare madness and just paint, so I turned back to this pavilion and was inspired to paint the mossy green on the roof. And I wanted to try all the bright colors that I have, so this was perfect. I'm messing up a bit again, this time on the branches. I should have left the negative space here, but it's okay. I also painted this tree fully invaded by creepers. I think this is kind of cool. 
at the end of this first session, each of us has to put our sketch under the pavilion for a group picture. There were so many amazing sketches that I felt a little embarrassed actually, but obviously this was not the point. So I reminded myself that, hey, I got out of my comfort zone using pastels. I did good. All right, the second session is starting now. During the lunch break, I sketched the view from the cafe where we had lunch in front of the Trodit church. Its garden was absolutely magic, filled with flowers, trees, so I was naturally compelled to settle here. <laughs> that must hurt. There is oh, just, is it was... I did not record the sketching process because I was eating at the same time, but this time I can say that I successfully avoided over preparation. In this composition, I included a lot of plants, flowers, and used the brick wall of the church as the background. So I'm using peach coral tones right now for the wall. I'm going to use the same technique of opposing warm and cool colors to create contrast, but this time with gouache. For this second session, I really want to let go of any expectation to be able to paint freely and creatively. So to help me do that, I'm chatting a lot with my friend here, Marissa, whom I met in London. Looking around and taking time to appreciate the garden also helped me get a better idea about how to paint my plants and flower details so that I don't feel stuck. It can be scary to use very dark colors when you're a pastel person. It took me some time to feel daring enough, but it's a great way to create landing spots for your eyes so that the painting will appear sharper and more eye-catching. I want to keep the main vibe pastel, so I'm only using indigo sparingly while adding some mid-tone shades like grey and purple to give off a colourful vibe without creating mess. To harmonize the plant and the wall together, I'm painting flowers in orange and yellow shades and also adding some orange details on the leaves. This way the plant and the wall won't appear as two separate blocks. I think the painting is looking really cool. If I was to stay stuck with my expectation, at this point, the painting would have already come out stiff. It's amazing how I am feeling a lot more confident in this second session. How do you know when to stop? I think this is one of the biggest questions when we finalize something as an artist. I think the more you practice, the more you will learn to feel when it's enough. At least this has been my case. I'm doing some final touch up on the leaves, the flowers and the wall to make everything look put together because I'm content with how it turned out now. And now here we are, a sketch that doesn't look so urban but that I'm really proud of. This was the first time I participated in a large gathering for an artistic activity. The experience was both creatively and socially scary as I'm quite an introvert, but it felt rewarding to confront the little scary things in life like reaching out to people, chatting with them, sketching as an amateur among all the talent and realize that nothing bad actually came out of it. I even made a new friend here in London doing so, so there is zero regret.
Not all challenges are going to be positive, of course, but we can all try and learn something from them. I hope you enjoy the video and feel motivated to get out of your own comfort zone in your own way. I also hope to see you soon in my next video where I'm going to visit the most famous art supplies shop in London and <laughs> judge them. <laughs> Thank you for watching, bye!